in a perfect world Tank. like me would not exist. But this is not a perfect world. <laughs> Today we will be taking a look at some of the problems of T72, primarily the T72B3 model 2016, since that is the most modern tank's variant. The tank has a lot of problems, mainly with its protection. It uses Contact 5 ERA on front placed over T72B bases. It is needless to say that this type of protection is obsolete in modern era, since there are lots of projectiles made to beat it. For some reason, Russians decided to continue placing Contact 5 on T-72 tanks, but place far superior relic on T-80 and T-90 tanks, that previously had the Contact 5. So, even they know Contact 5 is not sufficient enough as a form of protection. Although Contact 5 blocks on the hull of T-72B3 have been filled with 4S-23 explosives, once used in relic, it does not offer that much improvement, since the performance of ERA mainly depends on the metal blocks of ERA, and all that one does is making it slightly more sensitive to APFE-SDS and tandem, so it will decrease the tandem penetration for a bit, but not nearly as much as Relic. But turret is still filled with 4S22 explosives, so it is as good as back in 1989, when this form of protection was first introduced on T-72B model 1989, also known as T-72BM. So they basically did not improve the frontal protection of T-72 tanks for 30 years, well, basically all other tanks in the world have seen protection changes, including all other Russian tanks. I mentioned it before, but there has been some effort to make T-72B tanks with relic, in form of T-72B2 Rogatka, but at the time it was too expensive to upgrade all T-72B tanks to that level. But you don't see why it is a problem now. So that is one of the problems, side protection is somewhat good, 4S24 blocks have been mounted on the turret side which offer good protection against tandem shaped charges and ERA blocks have been placed on the hull that can be further enhanced with 4S24 blocks which offer great protection against modern heat projectiles. Another problem is unarmored carousel. Even though studies have shown that most of catastrophic explosions happen due to ammo in the turret being hit, that is now removed in T-72 tanks there is still a high chance of fragments hitting the ammo, which would make it either catch fire and burn everything inside, or explode leading to a tank being destroyed. T90M and MS have armored carousel, which would mean that only the direct hit would result in ammunition destruction, and being that the carousel is completely on the bottom of the tank, it is very unlikely for a direct hit to happen. Furthermore, the tank's insides are covered with aramid, which is fireproof and further increases tank survivability compared to T-72B3, that has nothing from the mentioned. So, the crew survivability is not that good compared to other tanks. Now we move to fire control system problem. A big downside of T-72B3 is a lack of CATV, which is a great addition for any tank on the battlefield, since it allows commander to independently search for targets and then notify the gunner of their existence. But instead of CITV, Commander gets infrared sight and can only take control of Gunner's Thermal, which is better than nothing but still a big downside compared to CITV. Another problem that I talked about before is lack of battle management system, where a crew has no other option than to use smartphones as a form of navigation, even though systems like that are used in all kinds of forms in Russia, even on other tanks. But I guess it is also too expensive to upgrade this entity to B3 with battle management system, like everything else they are supposed to add. So they are just keeping it at its current state because it is cheap and they need a lot of tanks. But making a better variant would mean it is more expensive and thus not possible to make as many as in its current state. I mean, they noticeably improved the mobility with far better engine, new automatic transmission, and digitalized systems for driver, which also includes a rear camera. But that won't help it that much when on the battlefield, and given that the frontal protection is not that good, basically any better equipped country can go up against it, since majority of tandem heat projectiles can penetrate its frontal armor. Although it has a decent firepower, it can't be used at its best, given the fact that fire control system is not that good either, since it needs to spot the targets first in order to engage them. 
But Red, what if I wanted to go up against modern tanks? You will die! That would be all. If you like my content and want to support me, you can do it on Patreon. Any amount helps. And if you want, you can join my Discord channel. Both links are in the description. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.